everybody. Today, uh, working on the boat and getting it ready for our loop trip this coming year, 2022. I currently have freshwater anodes on the boat and um, I'm gonna have to switch those to an aluminum anode that'll allow me to go into brackish and into salt water as well. Um, so you can uh, follow along with me as I get this done and get one step closer to having the boat ready to go in the water for our big trip. So being in fresh water, what we normally have is a magnesium anode and uh, they, you can see that these are about a, a season old. They're not too bad, but they are eaten through pretty good. I probably won't keep them, but uh, I have to switch, as I'd said, to an aluminum anode that allows me to go into both salt water, brackish water, and the fresh water. Um, it's kind of a, uh, the best scenario for using in this situation because if I put zincs in, then they're really not protecting the metals on the boat while I'm in fresh water. If I put the magnesium on, then uh, as I get further downstream, I'll have to haul the boat out and put on the aluminums or ultimately, I, if I was only in salt, then I could put the zincs on. So I've done two. I've done the, uh, the one shaft on the port side. I don't know if you can see that. I've done this uh, trim tab. And uh, so I've just got the, the diver's dream to do, which isn't too difficult. This trim tab and the other shaft. The, uh, the engine anodes and the generator anodes I'll have to do at another time because I don't have the anodes at the moment. So I'm on to my second uh, trim tab. Um, and it just takes an Allen key to remove these. They're very, very simple to remove. The underside, basically, it's just an Allen key, and we can spin this trim tab off. I'm sure this is pretty rudimentary for most of you, but if you haven't done it before, it can be a little intimidating, but that's about 10 seconds work to get that off. I have the new one right here. Again. Just tighten it down. And that's that's it. That's a trim tab done. I'll switch over to the... Um, we'll do the diver's uh, dream next. All right, so the next one I'm going to do is the diver's dream. It's the one on the back of the boat. And it takes a 19 mil socket to get it out. that we'll set aside and that's our our old magnesium which is in pretty good shape actually um, but it, as I said we need to switch to aluminum we put our aluminum back on put our washers on we'll tighten back our bolts again Okay, that's our diver's dream done. Last external anode. anode anodes, again, are, are sacrificial metal, basically, which protects the shaft or protects the metal on the boat. Um, so I'm just removing the old ones, which are a little worn out. And I have the ones ready to go. This is something that's fairly easy that can be done on your own, which will save marina labor, which can be quite costly. Sometimes boat projects are a little bit intimidating. Certainly they have been for me in the past. And so I'm quite happy to start doing some stuff on my own and maybe learning a few things as we go. Heather and I will have to become 
fairly self-sufficient um, as we move on to the boat and start living there and taking on projects by ourselves and making sure that we can do what we need to get done so that we're not paying marina rates to get stuff done. That's it, we're done.